Hello everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will learn how to solve the practice problem Java input output. So first let us understand the question and then we would solve it. So basically this question can only be done in Java. Okay. Now basically you would be given two input values. One is an integer n and another one is a string s. Okay. So you just need to print the output as input is integer. Okay. And then you need to print the value. And over here you need to print input is string. Okay. Input is string. And with this you need to print the given string okay so this is what you have to do in the question i hope the question is clear to you now let's move forward to the solution part what you need to do is you need to go to the practice portal in practice portal in the difficulty section you need to choose school okay after choosing school you need to find the practice problem java input output okay once you find it you need to click on solve okay so here is the question let's read it Given a string s and an integer n, print the output in the form the input string s and the input integer n in the two separate lines. Okay. I hope the question is clear to you and we would be coding it over here. Okay. So, let's code it. One minute. So, I need to write system dot out dot println. Okay. One moment. Okay. Then I need to write this is the input string right that is wait a second let's take it from here okay the input string and i need to just print it over here one minute okay after this i need to print the actual string right the input that i am given right so for that i would just write plus s okay now a semicolon now i just need to do something similar for the second part so i would just copy it enter okay over here i need to write integer right so over here i would write integer okay and over here i would just write n okay now to check if it is correct or not i would click on compile and run let's wait okay let's see the compilation is completed and my output is matching with the expected output but there is a mistake let's see there is a space coming over here which is wrong there should be no space over here so let's remove it now click on compile and run let's wait okay the compilation is completed and my output is matching with the expected output so now i would submit the problem okay let's wait the problem is solved successfully and this is how you solve the practice problem java input output so I hope this video was helpful for you and you guys enjoyed it. If you like this video, make sure you click on the like button and subscribe our channel. And thank you for joining me today. Thank you.